Hey everybody, fun science video for you. Uh, this is uh, a demonstration that I've always really, really, really liked. Uh, but the first time I ever did this demonstration, it was a little bit scary, if I'm being really honest with you, uh, because the directions I had for it said to use a small amount of potassium chlorate. And I was like, this is before you could just go online and check something. I, I had saw this in a book, great demonstrations to do in your science classroom. And, and so I, I couldn't find out what the small amount was. I had checked with a few people. Nobody knew this demonstration. And so I decided to go with a teaspoon, which incidentally now I use probably about an eighth of that. But the first time I ever did this, I decided I'd go with a teaspoon. And uh, I was doing the demonstration and I got so scared that I, I ran out of my classroom. And uh, I, I was looking through the window at this very large flame shooting out of the test tube. And uh, the principal comes up behind me of the school. This was after school. And he goes, what are you doing? He looks in the window and he's like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? And I said, I'm trying to decide if I need to go get a fire extinguisher or not. And he's like, well, what are you doing? And I said, I'm trying this demonstration. It said to use a small amount. And he's like, well, clearly that's too much. I said, clearly it is, but uh, uh, we'll adjust that. That's why I'm doing it before I have any students tomorrow. But uh, since then, I figured out how to do the demonstration in a, in a much better way. But anyway, this reaction we're going to do today is, involves this substance right here, this white substance right here. This is called potassium chlorate. And what this is, is this is a, this substance, potassium chlorate, is a strong oxidizer. And what that means is that it will, um, it will decompose, it'll do what's called a decomposition reaction and turn into oxygen in a highly reactive form. And that oxygen in its highly reactive form is called oxygen nasciende. And nasciende, again, refers to, and it means highly reactive oxygen. Well, all you need to do for this to start is you need to take and you need to put this potassium chlorate in a flame. And when you do that, you add heat to the reaction. So by the way, we've been talking about uh, endothermic and exothermic reactions in my class, if I'm adding heat to it to get it to decompose, is that endothermic or exothermic? Thermic. Pause the video if you need to. All right, I'm back. You're back. Hopefully you said that that is endothermic. So the first part of this reaction is not really all that exciting, to be perfectly honest with you. It's just, it's releasing, all right? It's releasing potassium chloride and it's releasing oxygen, but it's in this highly reactive form. Well, that oxygen is not really going to be that exciting. It would just re release it into the atmosphere. But if I could use that highly reactive oxygen, which is what I'm going to do. So how I'm going to use it is I'm going to take a splint, a wooden splint, and I'm going to hold this wooden splint in the flame and I'm going to blow it out. And then I'm going to put it back into this test tube. And when I put it back into this test tube, it's going to make the reaction all right, it's gonna make the reaction relight. And when it uh, relights the splint, it's going to be a different reaction. So then that reaction is not no longer the decomposition of potassium chlorate. That reaction is now the combustion of wood. Now, the combustion of wood doesn't seem like it would be a very exciting reaction, but the combustion of wood with highly reactive oxygen is actually quite exciting. So that's what I'm gonna do for you. So by the way, my students, you get to see this cool demonstration because we balanced the decomposition reaction of potassium chlorate. And so we just balanced that. Hopefully it made sense. I showed you a video of how we balanced that and that was what we were doing. But I just thought you earned the right to see this reaction because it's a really cool reaction. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. This, as you can see, I've got eye protection on the side. I would not do this demonstration without eye protection. I'm also going to take this tool right here and this is going to enable me to hold the test tube, okay? And I'm gonna hold the test tube in a way that hopefully uh, you'll be able to see. I'm also gonna kind of point the test tube away from me as you're gonna see. Anytime you're doing anything with a test tube safety-wise, you don't want it pointed at somebody or at yourself. So the test tube is gonna be pointed over there. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat up this potassium chlorate. And when I add energy to it, it's gonna start kind of making a sound. It'll sound almost like snapping and crackling and popping, kind of like you hear with Rice Krispie cereal. 
And when that starts to happen, you'll see me light this wood splint at that time. And when I light the wood splint, I'll then blow the wood splint out, I'll put it back in, and you get to see that it will relight the wood splint, and then it will do something that probably you've never seen wood burning do. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be fun. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and start it, all right? So I've never actually tried this one at home before on uh, this type of a burner. I'm hoping that this burner is going to work. This is an alcohol burner. I've always used a uh, gatch natural gas burner at school, but hopefully it'll be able to work and we'll get it to work hopefully. So again, you're gonna start to hear the snap crackling and popping happening, which is what we're gonna start to hear. And uh, you'll start to hear that here in just a second. I heard one pop, but not, not too much yet. I'm trying to get it to start here. Tastes take a little bit longer with this burner than it does with my burners at school. There we go, we're starting to get some we're starting to get some uh, some kind of reaction going here. Trying to get it heated up. There we go. It's starting. It's starting. And let's see if we got it going good enough here. So here we go. Maybe. And we're gonna keep it going here. As you can see there, it's still got some it's still got some oxygen being released. So let's try one more. Let's try one more. Let's see if we can get any any more of this to go here. And there we go. We still had some potassium chlorate left, so we might as well go ahead and use that. <laughs> Science is so fun. So you see there that you probably have never seen would burn with a white flame before. But that's what happens when you get highly reactive oxygen. It makes that burn all that more exciting. And so that was pretty cool. It almost looks like a rocket taking off. By the way, when they do send a rocket off, they use highly reactive oxygen as well. Not in this form, it's in a different form, but this is highly reactive oxygen, nasi and day. And obviously the first reaction was endothermic, but the second reaction, what do you think that was with the combustion of the wood? Was that endothermic or was that exothermic? Why don't you take a moment to think? Oh yeah, that was exothermic. Science is awesome. Hopefully you're doing all right with all this corona and COVID-19. I hope you're doing all right. Uh, have a great day and uh, <laughs> enjoy. Uh, the rest of the week. Have a good day. Bye.